Cara. No way, dude! What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Finally, in some cool weather <laughs> with the Utah Air Guns, we're about to have the best, the funnest three days of the year. Got Justin, got the whole air gun crew. <laughs> I'm the only one not in the jersey. We'll, 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 we can change you that. Want? We can change that real quick. You have one? Oh, yeah. The sweetest Can Am Defender I've ever seen. AC, power windows, light bar, sound system. And I don't even know what that thing's called, but it's a Can Am. Can Am Maverick X3. Supposedly it's fast or something. I don't know. So right. we'll see. We're about to take them on the highway. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get a little test in, but we're going to go. There's rain off in the distance. We only have a few hours till dark. We're going to start this Prairie Dog Palooza off right and go smack some. So I got my FX all dialed in with my Maven scope. Got my Maven binos and range finder. And we set it up with a GoPro mount to film through the scope. So I'm hoping it turns out amazing. Y'all stay tuned. It's not even close to being over. We got a lot of hunting to do. So see y'all here in a minute. All right. Justin is a man of his words. I'm now jerseyfied. <laughs> now I can shoot a prairie dog. going out it's time it is time so I'm shooting a FX 22 caliber and we're shooting slugs you know we're going on uh, an airport yes yeah, so we're going out right by the airport out here uh, we're not going in the actual airport although we do have permission to do so really but uh, we're gonna go uh, out by the airport and then we've actually got a bunch of uh, grain fields that aren't planted yet, they've just turned them under, so, and there's a ton of prairie dogs, so he wants them all gone before they plant wheat, they're gonna plant wheat September 1st, but these prairie dogs will eat an entire row in it, and like each, each prairie dog eat like a whole row. Really? Yeah, so it's hard to, for them to even get it down, so we'll go get rid of all of them that we can so they can actually get their wheat planted. So, if you are wondering why we're just killing prairie dogs, it is fun, absolutely but it's necessary just like pigs in texas these prairie dogs tear up fields tear up crops and tear up trucks really because you go through a field you're going to tear up your truck because of prairie dogs so farmers asked justin and his crew to come out here and put a hurt on them so that's what we're doing Y'all know this guy. That's been a while. Cameroon. That's me. The hockey players already for yeah. shooting. <laughs> hockey. Don't they look like hockey jerseys Kinda a little bit? Put in some upper decky lip pillows, bud. Yeah, you want a Zimbabwe, <laughs> eh? Zimbabwe's bud. Up. All right, here's my setup. We're about to get her dialed in. Everybody else is all. They're just smacking them left and right. We got the camera crew. Wherever. Uh, the real cameraman of the <laughs> cameras. We got these guys smacking them down over here. How many you kill, Austin? I haven't killed one yet, man. What? I know. We're just what getting doing? started. Oh, we got to get set up, you You're know. You're still wanting a nap. We're going to get on that now, right? <laughs> no, we got blood going. Let's go. One no. down. Glad there's there you go. 130. Blowing about 35 out here. <laughs> Been taking some like two, 300. Who knew that you could shoot an air gun? Out to 600 yards. They're killing them at 600 yards. I got mine at like 30. So first one of the day. <laughs> Shot at a bunch at two or 300, but uh, got one at 30, right in the head, right in the noggin. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, it's a murder scene. <laughs> First prairie dog of the trip, boys. Headshot. FX did the trick. I don't think we'll be eating this one now. Well, Justin. Well, <laughs> we killed a few. We killed, killed a, few. a few. But we had high winds and overcast, which is 
a recipe for disaster for a prairie dog. And rain. And rain. We didn't have the rain hit us, but yeah. the prairie dogs, they don't like this overcast apparently. So we're going to go eat us some dinner. There's a semi coming. Oh. We're going to go eat us some dinner, get dialed in, and then Justin said we're going to do a little night hunting. So stay tuned. We'll see what we get into. Hey, buddy. I'm going to kill you in two years. Oh, you were looking at a different one. Yeah, there's oh, a good one. I'll see you on the other side. Amazing barbecue dinner in Utah. Who would have thought Utah would have had good barbecue? But now it's time to go hunt again. <laughs> That's a little faster. Yeah. Alright guys, Justin is coming out here right now. We know how much he loves arrowheads. I bought a fake one. We're going to punk him tomorrow. Good morning everybody. It is another amazing cool day here in Utah. It uh, just had a fantastic breakfast and Cameron is dialing my gun in right now. Got the got it on the chrono. I don't know how to do all that stuff. I just like shooting at living things so I get other people to set it up for me and then I just go whack them. The gun butler. The gun butler. That's it. Same for my bow, really. I'm not very technical with a little bit, not a ton though. So anyway, we had an amazing breakfast. We're about to go out and it's gonna be a sleigh fest all day. So y'all stay tuned and enjoy. We'll see what happens. Five yards.
around it. I hope still guys. That's the best one I've ever seen, ever. That's insane. Dude. Oh my god. We I'm happy for we you. We actually got it at the gas station right last now. night. Dude. We bought it at the gas station. You go, y'all gotta see this. <laughs> you didn't hear me say it. I didn't hear you. I thought you were joking. Oh, man. <laughs> then you break it. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to break. I dropped it right on the rock just to see if it break. <laughs> Terrible. Y'all suck. <laughs> suck, dude. I was freaking out. <sighs> man, that's a bad that, I, I, so, I started feeling I'm bad glad. about halfway through. Oh. Dinner time. Oh, dinner time. We got uh, a our eat. little oh, yeah. group. We probably shot 70 or 80. Uh, it was a blast. So we're all starving and tired. I think we're gonna go back out again tonight. So switching up rides. 
We've been shooting prairie dogs all day. We ate our, I guess it was dinner. I thought it was lunch, but yeah. we're staying out here till dark and past dark, I guess. So going back out to a new location, got the truck loaded and uh, we're gonna go pop some more prairie dogs. So we probably shot, how many do you think we've shot in total the whole group all day? Uh, a couple uh, hundred. Yeah, a few hundred probably. Four or 500 maybe? Pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy that you can shoot as far as we've been shooting with air guns. That's what blows my mind more than anything. You could shoot thousands of prairie dogs, but to get the range, get dialed in and everything, and then one or two shots to really make it count at three or 400 yards, it's a blast. So we're gonna keep doing it till dark. Hopefully this rain doesn't hit us. And uh, then I'll see you guys at the house. Got him. I'm on him. What? Low? Just low. Just a hair higher. I think it's right. I think the wind is pushing. Here. I got him. There he is. There he is. Right. There he is. Got him. I got him. Held left. Got him that time. Yeah, I think the wind. That wind's picking up for sure. What? Well, guys, it was an epic trip to Utah. We slammed the prairie dogs and the air guns were amazing. But this is the end of the trip. Pulling up to this little itty bitty airport, about to get in a prop plane and get out of here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If y'all want to check out the air guns that we we're using, uh, go to the link in the description box, utahairguns.com, and you can find any of the guns that we we're using there. Uh, and they can help you out with whatever you need. So until next time, y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.